outside. The spirit of Ruth Goldberg or Thomas A. Edison is engraved in the American character. And in Denton County, Texas, Eric Engberg found the creator of the ultimate television set. <laughs> recognize this scene. The youngsters sprawl before the TV set, vintage sitcoms before dinner. But there's something extraordinary about the program they are watching. My three sons travel into this living room via a 50,000 mile trip through space, not from their local TV station's transmitter. Gary Brown, who lives here, wired together $10,000 worth of parts and came up with a TV addict's version of the American Dream Machine. 36 channels, signals from border to border, even south of the border. Brown tunes in, not TV stations, but the satellites which beam the programs to stations. It is a dial twister's delight. Did anything so beautiful? Informal presentation. Obey his words. Can we do it in the back seat? There. I never did trust a country that speaks two languages. As a bonus, Brown gets unbelief Johnny Carson, a TV movies, and a dozen pro football games to choose from on Sunday. He says he built this gadget for the same reason men climb Everest. Brown's taking advantage of one of the miracles of the space age, communication satellites. Several now orbit the Earth, relaying TV signals from place to place for a fee. These signals are intended to be picked up by commercial ground stations for on-the-air broadcast. But they bounce off the satellites in many directions, and anyone with the right equipment can tune them in. Hundreds of electronics enthusiasts are doing just that. Okay, Even though the parts cost thousands, and the antennas are quite a bit more unwieldy than a set of rabbit ears. Brown built a satellite receiver as an experiment, then when it worked, started a cable television business near Dallas. The potential of satellite viewing has forced the Federal Communications Commission to make a hasty review of its policies for regulating the receivers. Meantime, those who tune in on the satellites, like the kids with crystal sets half a century ago, will delight in being able to pull signals from the air that most people don't even know are there. The possibilities are endless. With the right kind of equipment, you can even eavesdrop on satellite-fed news reports. Like this one from Eric Engberg, CBS News, Denton County, Texas. And that's the way it is. Tuesday, October 31st, 1978. This is Motor Crime Guide, CBS News. Good night.